This homeless challenge is a community challenge. So it's, uh, as mayor, I think, you know, it would be my job to say, hey, this is, this is a challenge for our community. And there's some decisions we have to make as a community. For example, one of the things I've encouraged people to do is say, let's help those who are truly homeless. And let's make sure that we are supporting, with our donation dollars, organizations that are having a great impact. And it is tough when you have so many organizations, it's hard for all of them to get the resources they need because there's only so much resources to go around. So I do think we need to look at who's doing it really well, evaluate that as a community, and make sure that, that we are backing people doing that work. And I think that's a significant part. There's different kinds of homeless people. There are people who are truly homeless who need, who need help. They're in a situation, they're in a bind, and that's, diff that's difficult. And then there's people who choose that as a lifestyle. There's two different categories. And I, I don't like to lump everybody into one category to, to, or another. It's a nuanced conversation. But I think those who are truly homeless uh, should, should be in shelters. Those who are battling addiction uh, should be in rehab. Those who have serious mental illness should be in treatment. Those who commit crimes uh, should be held accountable. All of those things are true, and that's as a community. The government's a part of that, but it's not the only part of that. You need nonprofits, churches, and really everyday folks deciding, here's how we're going to tackle this. That includes choosing not to give to a panhandler, but instead give to an effective organization.